All right, you guys asked for this, and I'm here to deliver. It's been a while, right? I've been playing a lot of battle bits and trying to learn to trick stab in TF2. Anyway, welcome to Hamlet, the last DLC for Don't Starve. This is by far the most chaotic and difficult DLC for the game, but oh boy, is it fun. This video is one full of heartbreak, so go ahead and put your crying pants on. This DLC takes us to the Sky Islands of Hamlet. We've got ruins filled with relics and traps, pig cities full of shops to buy useful items, mostly, anyway, giant birds, and a pretty sick boss lineup, not gonna lie. There's a lot to unpack here, but I'll get on with it. World settings just go around our default, and the mods I used are geometric placement, combined status, and simple health bar, as usual, all of which will be in the description below. I ended up picking Wormwood for this one, because I love this plant dude. Also he talks funny. Now this was a pretty horrible decision right off the bat. I'm gonna be a big boy and admit this, but Wormwood is really hard to play as, and this DLC is a lot more difficult than the previous two. Day one I spawned in and just listened to my boy. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. That's what I like to see, that's what I like to hear, Wormwood. You and me were tight. You and me were tight. Like brothers. As per usual, I started getting the basic resources. Now you have to use a machete to chop grass. A bit inconvenient, but at least the game starts you off with a machete. Why do you have the need to kill everything? What what's the what's the murderous urge for? Find love in your heart. Okay. Yay, woohoo. We Oh! Oh man, I'm sorry. Where's poop? You're just killing everything. Stop. <laughs> don't like hurting friends? Don't worry. You're not friends, it's okay. You don't have any friends, buddy. Since Wormwood is a plant and by extension a tree hugger, he loses sanity whenever you chop, dig, or burn plants. But he does gain sanity back from planting them. What is that? Lost totem. What? Just on the ground? Okay. Relics like these are super helpful in Hamlet, as they give quite a bit of money to use in the shops. Yes, this DLC has capitalism. Oh, they're killing the Pog, yes! Gang fight. I'm on fire! Yet another of Wormwood's little quirks. He is incredibly flammable, so this is a consistent issue. Also, Wormwood doesn't heal from food, so health is precious. And day two. Apparently, digging through manure restores sanity. At least for Wormwood. Oh, he loves digging through poop. Okay. Not even a problem. Just like me for real. Alright. Sob in parentheses. I stumbled across a clearing with a bunch of burnt trees, which means somewhere around here were some Iron Hulk parts. Uh-oh, Iron Hulk. Foreshadowing? Oof. Big guy. I'd save that fight for later. Also, yeah, iron is a thing now. It's used quite a bit for this DLC. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Woohoo! Yay! Yay! Here you can see a Thunderbird up in the painted biome. These guys were a bit scary as they would summon a few lightning strikes on you if you invaded their personal space. Because, of course, they can do that. Definitely didn't want that to happen, as flammable as I am. Oh, I, whoops, I wanted you to examine the manure, not start lathering yourself up with it, but you know, feel free to do that too. Keep it in your pants, I'm moving. Day three, I was looking for gold when I came across something even better. You know, this is very like Dr. Seuss-esque now that I think about it. Oh, hello, Sir Charlie. Well met. Welcome to the pig city. We were gonna be here a lot. Put your health bar away, big guy. Well, this is a really nice place, however. I need gold to progress in any meaningful way. Balberston? What's your issue? Oh yeah, they're scared of gnats, aren't they? Whatever. I, I don't- I can't do anything with gold dust. Don't cuck me. Hey, he calls you... Shiny Pooper. So, do you poop gold by chance? They do poop gold. I just never figured out how to get them to do that. Also, apparently Wormwood can plant seeds anywhere. Whatever. Uh, yeah, sure. Almost there. You just planted them. Why would you lie? 
I finally ended up getting some gold after just diving into a random cave I found. Or more you a plant, can't you like photosynthesize or something? I'm getting sick of your antics. What are you? Rabid beetle? I don't want to mess with that. Uh -huh. Day four, I finally got a science machine done. I made the basic stuff, including a backpack, but I also made a ball peen hammer and a gold pan. The ball peen hammer was used to get relics and even gold from some statues. The gold pan is self-explanatory. I also made some shears because I was planning on doing some hedge trimming. It's time to pan for gold. <laughs> I got back to the city and started doing some lawn work. This is how I made most of my money. Ooh, that gives two clippings. Hey, yo, have the relics? I do. Take my relics. Oh my gosh. Tis noble job they do. Ah, oh, shrubbery. Tis a thief! I just got money! Dude was out and about as soon as that coin hit my pocket. What's your issue? The ops are watching everywhere. Gimme. Quick. Quick! No! Take from the rich! I just got money! Yeah, so bandits just spawn in randomly if you have money and try to steal it from you. City Hall, thank goodness, okay. Quick, I'm being robbed. Hello, Mayor Truffleston. Security contract, home ownership, there we go. The bit short though, okay, well. Yep, that's right. This DLC has houses in it. Revolutionary. I really wanted that deed of home ownership, so I went back to hedge trimming. Day five, I bought food with my hard-earned oinks. That's an anagram for coins, by the way. Ah, uh, I just, I love, I love buying things. I love capitalism. However, 10 oinks for meatballs is ridiculous and I'm not paying that much. Really? Who do you think you are? I also have my first, um, something wave. Bats, I guess. Oh, vampire bats. Listen, I haven't really played this DLC before. And yes, I had to look that up for the script because somehow I went 100 days without learning their names, okay? Anyway, they replace hounds, all right? There's issues in the sky. Oh, horrible. I don't understand what's going on here, but um, it does involve bats, it seems. Ugh. Get him. Pig skin, question mark? Yeah. That is poison. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what I expected from that, you know? I mean, I, I knew that was poison. I have some issues, maybe. Ruinous entrance. Don't mind if I do. Oh, okay. A mantle. Can I come inside? Hey, guys. Well, I'll just be over here in the corner. Don't mind me. On day six, that, um, thing finished killing the mants. By the way, Hamlet doesn't have spiders or monkeys. It does, however, have spider monkeys, which are horrifying. Buddy, calm yourself. I came across this rune with a pig statue on top, and this was going to be really important later. Would you have in mind if I grabbed this? Yeah, don't worry about me. I decided I would dip my toes into the rune and see what I could find. Thank goodness there's some grass I don't have to chop. I'll pass. Wait a second. What? Hey, yo. I didn't find too much, but I'd come back later. Day seven, I strolled back into town to sell all of the relics I had just collected. And I was making bank, honestly. Using all of my cold cash, I went to the mayor and bought a house deed. I'm no longer homeless. Yes! Not. Oh, well. well. Whoa, there it is! Crazy. Thanks, I guess? Okay. There we go. We have a house, everybody. If only buying a house was that easy. In this economy? No way. Oh, the, the urge. The urge. I'm a better person than that, though. Eh, well, yeah, I'm not, but, you know, for the sake of the video, I'll just pretend that I am. Day 8, I started searching for more gold because I really needed to get an alchemy engine. So, for healing... I'm going to need a lot of rot, or I'm going to need a lot of poultices, which, you know, you see these ruins with the statue on top? Yeah, somehow I didn't see this. This ruin with the asparagus on it Call me asparagus. leads to the Fountain of Youth.
Ah, uh, I pressed the wrong directional button. Okay, well. I started smashing some of the vases I found scattered around, and they actually had some pretty useful stuff in them. That's a whole... okay. It's a whole gym. Purple gym? Okay. Day 9? I was just exploring and trying to map out the island. Oh, there's the poison. Can't say I'm a super big fan. Why? Day 10, I found even more Hulk parts. Ah, no head. What the, like, hello? Blowfly? Changing, okay. Have fun metamorphosizing, I guess. I mean, don't let me stop you. I also went into this ruin and almost died. There are gonna be a lot of close calls throughout this video. I kinda have a pattern for this. I don't really know what my obsession is with placing myself in blatantly horrible situations. See, not trapped. Why would it be trapped anyway? Oh my gosh. Now that is trapped. Okay, we're out of here, everybody. Wow. Is there any way to, like, disarm these patui? Okay. Thank you. Goodbye, everyone. I really do enjoy putting my life in danger, but, um, really, it really is no but to that. I just enjoy putting my life in danger. You just got ice. Uh, you've got ice on ice. Wow, this is next level. You can buy eggs. <gasps> you sell rot. What a lovely lady you are. Have a torch. Oh, hey, that's kind of cool. I, I kind of need that. I'm not gonna lie. This shop is my saving grace. Since wormwood can't heal naturally, and his compost wraps are kind of hard to get a good supply of, this place is where I'd end up getting most of my health from. Day 11, I sold all the relics that I almost died for. Mm, meat thrust upon me. Buddy, please stop talking. What? You gave me money for picking up your manure? You're welcome, buddy. Do it yourself. Uh, apparently I can just pick up manure and people will just sprint over to throw money at me. Thank you. Ugh, this is highway robbery. I started stocking up on healing with my newfound wealth, just in case I felt like being silly again. We are... So high up. We are so high up. Coffee beans, what? I finished the day getting the logs I needed for an alchemy engine, which would have gone by a lot faster if I wasn't getting snakes and scorpions out of every tree and having all of my logs stolen by the little chipmunk dudes. Your screams bring me great pleasure. You're just gonna have to get over killing your friends, Wormwood. It is what it is, man. You gotta be stoic. Okay, where's some manure for you to dig through, you freak? Wow, look at how fun that is. Amazing. Day 12, it's officially humid season. As you can see in the top right, there are actually only three seasons in this DLC, as opposed to the usual four. Now humid season, what can I really say? Well for starters, it's by far the worst season in the game, even out of all the DLCs. I cannot believe this is the second season, and it starts on only the 12th day. Anyway, during humid season, there are frequent bouts of fog that severely limit visibility. On top of that, if you wear anything in your head or body slots, including a backpack, your character slows to a crawl. That means no extra storage and no armor. There are only like a couple exceptions to this, but they come quite a bit later. Other than the fog, it's constantly raining. And to top that off, there are constant lightning strikes during the fog and rain. Fun. Oh my gosh, I can't see. Backpack is heavy. You're gonna have to deal with it, mister. <sighs> no. Oh my gosh, dude. Look at me. Go away, man. Oh, get him. Silent Hill enthusiasts, eat your heart out. Back at home, I got my alchemy engine put down and started doing some renovation. We can now play The Sims. A floral wall pattern? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's wormwood, right? Yep, okay, okay, I'm feeling it. Floors now? Garden flooring? Ah, oh, it's wormwood. Okay, well now it just looks like a bathroom. I don't want my house to look like a bathroom. Candle hat, that's what I wanted. Very cool, very awesome. On day 13, things were going quite terribly. Why? But I got a visit from the BFB. You can probably figure out what that stands for. I can't say it because my mom watches these videos. This is really just 
Something I'm living with. Oh my gosh. I cannot deal with this right now. What? Thou wretch. I am sorry, man. I'm I'm busy. I, there's a there's a situation. Sir, there's a situation. Luckily it isn't very persistent and it just left me alone. Despite being a plant, wormwood seems to be very opposed to being wet. Okay. I have nothing to say about it at this point. It is apparently unavoidable. Hey guys. Hey guys. Chill. Gosh. I delved back into the ruin from earlier with my new candle hat. Mostly just to avoid the weather. Really. It isn't too fun. Wishing well? Here, have it. Like, Don't do nothing. I just wasted money. These things actually have a chance to heal you based on what item you throw in. Coins only have a 5% chance, so yeah. On the surface, I had the pleasure of finding out what those cocoons turn into. Oh no! Day 14. Another bat wave, if you even care. I, how did you hit me? Okay. Yeah, the range on these guys is a bit questionable, in my opinion. The silly guys. Attack the silly guys. See? Oh no! Gang war. Ow! Point taken, gosh. I wasn't having a great time with this season, if that wasn't apparent. Whoa! I didn't even do that. I got the enemies activating stuff. I, like, that's... That ain't even on me. That ain't even on me. Can you guys stop activating stuff? Oh my gosh. Yo! I don't have a death wish. I don't have a death wish at all. Day 15 was another day of suffering, as usual. That's just how the season is, really. If the dung pile is calling to me, it needs me. Stop. Yep, there we go. There's the fog. How's a man supposed to make an honest living like this? Woman. Here. Oh no! Poor guy. At least it wasn't me, though. I put down a campfire and crockpot in my house, which probably isn't safe. I don't think this place has OSHA, so it's probably fine. And then I ended up just chilling inside because I really didn't feel like getting struck by lightning and catching on fire. Day 16. I treated myself to some cookies to fix my hunger and sanity issues and stocked up on poultices. I'm not going to mention this every time because I do this pretty frequently. I went into the rainforest because I really wanted to get some chitin for a mant mask. I was under the false impression that this would help with the fog because I misread something on the wiki. I'm not too smart. Speaking of not too smart, I went back into that ruin I almost died in. Okay, let's maybe not set off the pressure plates. I know that's a crazy idea, but I'm full of them. Day 17, I was having some real trouble getting this statue, but it looked important and I wanted it. Can I chisel? I'm sorry. That was really my bad, honestly, for even considering that. Are we done having a fit? Ah, okay. Yep. Gotcha. Of course. I should have known. Light is bad. I'm so sick of it. Oh my gosh, let me leave. Holy crap. These dart traps are a bit ridiculous. Can you guys stop walking onto the pressure plates? There's nothing even in here. Just stupid scorpions trying to kill themselves. I am not trying to die. Maybe I am. Wow. Maybe I am trying to die. All the cocoons were hatching in the rainforest, and it was getting a little bit nutty up in here. Clearly the light was causing an issue, so I just waited until nighttime. But at last, I got the blue sow. That's its name, I guess. I cannot handle the stress. I can't handle the stress. I really can't handle the stress. It's got me like, ooh, ah, uh, you know, 21 pilots stressed out. Alright, let's go outside and get blasted, I guess. I assume that's gonna be what happens. Day 18, I left the ruin and was being chased by the rabbit beetles when a bat wave showed up. This game just couldn't give me a break, I guess. Sheesh. Okay. He looks like an idiot. This DLC is um, a bit more difficult than I'm used to, personally. Not saying I can't cope, I can cope, but like, goodness. Honey, I'm home. Mentally scarred a little bit, but I'm home. 
Put the poop on the shelf, I guess. Nothing really matters anymore. With the light bulbs from the beetle, I was actually able to make a lantern, which would be great for more ruin activities. Additionally, I made the mat mask I wanted. But on to day 19. I was very disappointed to see that I'm an idiot and the mat mask didn't help at all. I tried selling the idol, but apparently it's priceless. So I guess it is for something important. Can I buy anything here? Nope, it's just highway robbery. Okay, um, take this. A fine job, thank you. I know. Man, can we let bygones be bygones? I stole a berry. I ate a berry in front of you. What news? I don't know. Tell your friend to back off. It's not raining, Wormwood. What are you talking about? As you can see, pigs aren't too big on forgiving and forgetting. The only way to appease them is through dropping money or killing them, if you consider that appeasing them. Unfortunately, I only learned about the coin method after recording this video. This guy's trying to get to his house, at least. He's not doing a good job, but like, he's giving it, giving it a good go, you know. We've got some really bright people in this town. Keep trying, Derby, you'll get it. Edith, what if I killed you in your own house? What would you do then? Look at me, Edith. Day 20. I found out you can mine the whole creases for iron. I think it's good. Oh, wow, my voice. I'm sorry, man. I'll just leave, honestly. Like, uh, that's, you know, honestly. Yeah. I'll just, don't worry about me. I'll be seeing you. I'll be seeing you. I'll be seeing you. I really didn't mean to do that. Whoops. Um. <laughs> uh. Uh, well, you know, it's, it's, it's a thing. We'll be leaving that for later, I think. After that, um, situation... I grabbed some gems I dropped off earlier and started heading home. Here, and have this, I guess. What? Purple bad? Okay, biased, but whatever. I don't... Here, you know, you can keep it. Please, don't turn nighttime. You were so close. I'm gonna build a campfire inside of your house. I hope you don't mind. Watch out, lady. I think there's a there's a hand on its way. Yeah, she looks, uh, hollow. Is there any reason you're such low resolution? I'm gonna... I think she's broken. Come with me. Time out. Day 21, I guess I short-circuited the shopkeep. This was a bit of an issue, since I wanted to, um, buy things from her. Yes! Oh my god. Please, please fix yourself. Oh my gosh, finally. Gosh, what was your issue? After breaking the shopkeep out of her psychosis, it was time to get a move on. Okay, it's time to go on a trip. Never mind. I stopped here in some random ruin because I wouldn't be caught dead chopping grass. Day 22, bats. It was time to delve back into the pig ruin. Okay, grass and twigs are not going to be a problem, I guess. Oh my gosh, wait, no way. I had no idea that existed. Wow, okay. That is a green gem. These things are quite big. They're also not too interesting. So, um... Day 23. Wormwood started blooming, which means it's the start of lush season. Feeling bloomy, you say. Oh, are you entering your phase? Finally? Uh... Orange gem. Ugh, bruh. Unfortunately, all these gems are useless as you can't craft anything with them on Hamlet. But you can sell them. But eventually, I made it out to the other side of the ruin, and now I was on an entirely new island. Ho <laughs> <laughs> ho! Yeah. We're out of here. Oh, it's lush season. <laughs> Hamlet's world is actually divided across multiple islands each with a specific point of interest. The only way to find these islands are through marked ruins like the one I just went through. Oh yeah, and it's lush season. Usually lush season brings hay fever, which you have to deal with so you don't sneeze up all of your items. Luckily, Wormwood is immune to this, so at least he's good for something. He also blooms, but I'll explain that later. Please tell me this is what I think it is. 
I made it to the palace city. I was really living large now. This place has different shops from the other city, but most importantly, it has the queen. Arcane shop? What? This is a little pricey, in my opinion. No way. I love this guy. Oh man. Maybe I'll do a Reign of Giants playthrough. Maybe I'll do a Reign of Giants playthrough. You know, it's just really just... If you like and subscribe, and you hit the bell icon, I will make a Reign of Giants video, okay? Day 24. Apparently Lush Season brings wind with it. I don't really see the point of that, but okay. Oh lord, she is happy! Oh, oh, ha, 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 ha. That is scary. I don't want to have to look at that anymore. I started grinding and getting paid. Looks like the shoe's on the other foot now, buddy. Gloves on the other fingers, am I right? Yeah, that's right. Back off. Sometimes all you gotta do is stand up for yourself. And you'll, you'll be surprised by how quick your haters crumble. Okay, well that was quick, man. You don't learn. Enter the sow's ear. I would prefer not to, if I'm being honest. Uh, oof, that's you, isn't it? I'm out. Um, a captain hat, that is useless. Moggles, on the other hand. I, I might cop some moggles, you know. I gave the gems to this guy, because what else was I going to use them for? What is this? Weather pane blueprint, walking cane blueprint. 500 oinks for a walking cane blueprint. I ought to set your house on fire. Okay, let's come look at this guy's oddities. Oh. Okay. This is my kind of guy. Alfred, I just, I could kiss you so many times right now. I'm not going to do that, but potentially I could do that. It's in the cards, is what I'm saying. Uh, queen? Are you in a state of delirium? Are you okay? Okay, uh, I guess you don't feel like talking to me. Would you be interested in this? Good night! Okay. Thanks for the key. Looks like the totem was for the queen, I guess. She gave me a key in return, which I could use to open up one of these three cases. I don't know what any of these do. Um, the key looks important. Key to the city. You know, it, with that kind of title, it makes it seem really important, but I have no idea what that means. Um, why is my first option to attack her? I mean, I would love to, I don't like her, but why is that my first option? Mama punished did Wilba. Wilba lost did, did Mama's crown. This is Wilba, I guess. One of the unlockable characters from Hamlet, but I don't really like her. Rise and shine. Sweetheart. Day 25, the queen's awake again. I don't know why she sleeps on the floor though. I don't figure out what the key to the city does for a while, but as you can see by this extra crafting tab, the key lets you build any pig structure as long as you're holding it, meaning you can make your own entire city, if you feel like dumping that many resources anyway. I started taking advantage of the untouched manure supply here because I'm a little bit of a freak. Holy moly, the trees are blooming. What? Ah, oh, it's scorpion, okay. Rainforest trees start blooming in Lush Season 2, which is great since now I can get my sanity back after chopping them. Really, he's not that bad apart from the whole, um, flammability and not being able to heal kind of thing. Okay, you know what, those are two very big issues, but you know, apart from that, he's, he's not that bad. Day 26 was spent mapping out the entire island. It wasn't as big as I thought, but there were a lot of totems and statues. Too bad I didn't have a hammer. Day 27, it was time to buy some moggles from the scary pig lady, and a pith hat while I was at it. This would actually keep me from slowing down during humid season, which would be highly appreciated. Okay, now I'm ready to go. Oh ho ho! I'm blooming! Wow, look at how pretty my boy is. Blooming for Wormwood mainly means two things. First, he moves faster. Second, he starves faster. A lot faster. Not nice. Ow. Okay, well. No, let me lather myself up real quick. Ho ho ho. Home sweet. Whatever. Right? Upon getting back, I saw a lot of brambles blocking my path. That's another part of Lush Season. Hey, I mean, at least it isn't fog or lightning. They just get in the way and hurt you when you try to get rid of them. Wormwood can actually make an exclusive armor that lets him destroy brambles without taking damage, but I didn't have the stuff for it. Then I almost starved to death trying to navigate around them, 
Due to Wormwood's insane hunger drain. Oh my gosh. Wormwood, I forgot. I hate you so much. I hate you so much. Day 28, I kept pushing my luck as usual. I mean, I could try to mine it, but um, I don't think that'd end too well for me. Oh, I have a death wish. I swear I do. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. My hunger issue has been solved. These tubers in the painted biome start to bloom in lush season, which means they're safe to consume. They'll actually poison you if you try to eat them in any other season. We're okay. <laughs> Day 29, home sweet home. Oh. Popped in to say hello, okay. I was getting attacked by another bat wave when disaster struck. Ow. Okay, well, I'm busy. Oh, why would you light him on fire? What? What? Are... Guys. My house! Oh my gosh. Really? Luckily, you can repair houses with a hammer, so not all was lost. I did lose all of my items in my alchemy engine, however. Oh! Ah, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the... Really, really appreciate the pigs doing that, and... Okay, I had uh, 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 On the bright side, I can't even remember what burns, so it's probably fine. Probably wasn't anything important. You know, the worst part is, if I had not done anything, that would have been a better course of action than going inside of my house, but hey, whatever, you know. I'm glad that one guy robbed me for having, uh, tw I don't know, 12 quid? Steal from the rich? Yeah, I, I'm literally the slums, man. I'm living in a shack. On day 30, I may have killed a pig, as I was a little bit bitter about the whole house burning thing. Now this is next level. Then I decided to get some peacock plume, as I would need it to make a gas mask so that I could venture into the poisoned rainforest. How would I go about this? Oh, asleep. Got him. <laughs> that was not profitable at all. I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. Oh, I'm gonna pick you dry. Day 31, we do a little bit of trading. The gas mask was acquired and it was time. I might be, I might be looking into the berry bushes, I'm not gonna lie. What ho? Not gonna lie. I don't look into the berry bushes. These brambles are killing me. On day 32, I actually found two ruins in the poison drain forest. One with the ancient herald statue, and the other with a man statue. What's an ancient herald? Who knows? Other than that, there really wasn't anything interesting. Alright, well that's about it. There's nothing interesting here. Okay, well. I went into the room with the Ancient Herald statue because I really wanted to find the Apocalypse calendar, and I spent the rest of the day trying to find the other side. Ow. Day 33, I reached the other side and got out of there. Plenty of brambles were around to greet me, but more importantly, there were some clockworks on the other side. What? Get him. Ow. Yes. Now I had a bunch of gears that I wasn't going to use. There was also another bat wave, I guess, but the plants held me out. I'll leave y'all to it. <laughs> On day 34, I spent the day exploring the island a bit, and gathering a lot of manure because there were an unholy amount of dung beetles on this island. You can have it. I don't know if anyone's noticed, but um, this map's a tad on the gigantic side. He just ran into me. Wow, okay. Absolutely ridiculous amount of dung piles here. That bird looks so sassy. Look at that. It's also really loud. What is wrong with it? It's having a conniption over there. On day 35, I was still running around and trying to find anything interesting on the island. Are you saying we? Thankfully, it was temperate season again, so the brambles were starting to go on their own. Your head looks different. You got polka dots. 
buddy. Well, what's up with that? On day 36, though, my prayers were answered in the form of another ancient herald ruin. I was very confused at this point. That's peculiar. What are the implications behind this? Well, you know. This rune was very important, however, as it did actually contain the Apocalypse calendar, which I refuse to explain until later. There isn't too much to say about the ruins. Once you've seen one, you've seen them all, really. Thanks for the light. Youch. Or at least that's what I would say if that hurt me, you loser. I hate you so much. Why can you do that? Yes, fight! I have a stick. No? I have a gold. Whoa, that restored health. You can do that? I'm just wasting gold. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'll reach the end eventually. Maybe. There's no reason for this place to be this big. This is shenanigans. Day 37 was spent entirely in the ruins, much to my horror. Ends well. That's something important, probably. The ends well is actually pretty cool. Instead of healing you, it just spits out shadow creatures and purple gems at you. So that's cool. I'm going to lose my marbles. Why is your range like that? What causes you to do that? What is the motivation? Where's the profit incentive? Wow. It's just, um... Ha ha ha! You may have noticed some rooms have cracks in the wall where a door would be. These could actually be opened up by either blowing them up. These rooms were usually filled with gems and relics. Day 38, I stocked up on the island to go for another trip in the ruin. I was looking for the calendar, but unbeknownst to me, I wasn't going to find it, which I eventually figure out the hard way. Okay, that's a bit unfair. I... Fantastic. Let's not ever let that happen again. On day 39, aside from me almost dying because I'm stupid, I became an educated man. In other words, I broke down and looked it up after exploring the entire ruin and not finding it. Apparently, I needed to look for cracks in the walls, as the calendar is always hidden behind one. The issue with this is, I don't have gunpowder. There's a mole. Nom, nom, nom. The unfortunate news is, we are going to need gunpowder. So, why not just go do that, you know? Just go do that. Go do that, you know? It's, it's whatever. Who cares, right? Who cares? I did a walk of shame all the way back home. On day 40, I found an orange gem, which is, you know, a bit useless. But now I was back home after that semi-productive expedition. The good news is, I was about to fill my pockets with money. Ho ho! I'll just be uh, making bank over here. That is 100 oinks right there. I don't mean to brag or anything, but... Ho oh, ho! Wow. I'm just gonna make a... Uh... Yeah. Alright, it's time to suit up. We've got things ahead of us, big things. On day 41, in preparation for the aforementioned things, I went on a spending spree and got as much healing as I could. I really don't want the anti-venom. I know you want to push it on me, but I, I'm not a big fan. Luckily, I got some coffee beans in the process and made my first cup of joe. Whoa! Then for some reason I went straight back to the ruin. So this is embarrassing. I kind of forgot the part where I need gunpowder. That's an issue. Flying claws coming. Well, that's an issue. On day 42, I was on a mission to get some gunpowder so that I could make that secret door go kablooey. Okay, we have two missions now. One is to make a smelter. The other is to get gunpowder. And I'm starting to feel a little, a little silly uh, with the whole selling all of my red gems joke. That was kind of unfortunate. 
But the gunpowder mission didn't take long at all, as the first ruin I went into ended up having a couple of rotten eggs I had just left behind at some point. Oh. Okay. I don't know when I left that, but I... Yeah, okay. Whatever, man. I don't, I don't even care. Snakes, watch this. Now, I was officially packing some heat. Day 43, I went all the way back to the second Herald Ruin, and you already know, I found that calendar. Alright, let's see. Oh! Yes! I found it. And oh boy, I had no idea what I was looking at. There were two buttons, I guess. Uh, is this a, a good thing, or... I think this is a good thing. No, oh, you're... Stop. Guys, please. Going into day 44, and after dealing with the scorpion issue, I spent all day standing on buttons and trying to figure out how this was supposed to work. Apparently, the button on the left speeds up the calendar, and the button on the right reverses it. I expected some requirement or sacrifice to be made, but nope, you literally just stand on this button for like 5 minutes. I should probably explain that this calendar represents the amount of time until the apocalypse, which is really bad and we don't want that to happen. The basic rundown is, it plunges the entire world into eternal night under a blood moon, buffs a bunch of enemies, makes passive enemies aggressive, makes a particular boss start spawning all around the world, spawns daily bat waves, and to top it all off, it lasts permanently until you manually reverse the calendar. In simple terms, it's icky no good, you fell off, plus cringe. I'm just trying to experiment here. Oh. I think we... we don't want that. Well, I guess if I ever felt like activating the apocalypse, it's here. For whatever reason. And let's just call that good, I guess. I'm out of here, man. I don't like this place. We've done it. We've stopped the apocalypse. I guess. I, I don't know. I don't care. Day 45. It is now CBT season. I'm not too happy about that. I was hoping it would be this time of the year. Yeah, I thought so. Let's just, uh... Good thing I brought this bad boy with me. That's a bird. Oh, sure, I'm feeling generous today. Okay, so I may have gotten kidnapped. Voluntarily, of course. Looks like the bird took me to its nest. I immediately stole its child, of course, and started looking around. Can I hatch this? I think I might be able hmm, to hatch this. Oh? Okay. Man, I should have come here sooner. I'm guessing this is meant for this. Goodbye. Oh no. Looks like there was going to be an extra step to getting out of here. Luckily for me, there was some good stuff here, and getting out was actually just super easy. Even better, the cave led to an island I hadn't even discovered yet. Um, I'll be seeing you guys later. Where am I? Sheesh, this is ridiculous. Okay. That's not what I want to hear. That's not what I want to see. That's not what I want to be around me. Whoa! The Fountain of Youth! If only I could appreciate this, but I'm a little bit busy. That guy's tweaking. Okay. On day 46, I had taken care of the bat conundrum. Guys, I don't have my helmet on. I don't have my helmet on. I should, but I don't. Okay? Just, just calm down, man. Stop shaking so much. Okay, they're taken care of. Wow. What's up with this? Activate? Uh, I feel like activating this will be bad for me. I was very correct about activating it being a bad idea, as that would summon a boss that I was not ready for. I don't have a death wish at the moment. Maybe later. Maybe uh, I might have a death wish later. As much as this place is really nice and has the fountain of youth, I kind of I want to I wanna go home. I want to go home. Ugh. <sighs> Okay. Alright, I get you. Another ruin. Okay. Let's go. I wasn't too happy about all of this ruin travel, if you haven't caught on to that yet. Make the most annoying enemy as possible challenge. Impossible. 
Day 47 was more ruins shenanigans. Also wasted three gold on this well trying to heal myself. Just so you know, putting gold in the well has an 80% chance to heal you. So, skill issue, I guess. Red gems. Ho <laughs> ho! And that's why I'm the best. Get away from me, you freak. Call me the grave robber, because I'm... Uh, doing just that. Sorry, man. I didn't want to have to do it, but... Go away! Wait, have I been here? Have I been here? There's no way I've been here. I've been here. <laughs> I've been here. How did I never notice that that... I... <laughs> anyway. So I'm an idiot. Okay. This is where things really start happening. First things first, I need iron. Which means, um... Yeah, just back off, man. Day 48, I was really hurting for iron. You could say I was fiending for iron. I'm sorry for saying that. Oh, you, it was just a visual bug, okay. Listen, man, I really appreciate it. Stop that. Simmer down, buster. I found out these Iron Hulk parts can be mined infinitely for iron. You know, as long as you could deal with them waking up and trying to vaporize you on occasion. Other than that, it was fine. I'll be back later, don't worry, your pretty little head. Shoulder, I, I don't know, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Swag tools. You know it. You know it. Got big plans, everyone, big plans. Wormwood is about to worm his wood. Who up worming they wood right now? She worming my wood till I don't starve. You know what I mean? Is anybody else getting this? Am I crazy? Day 49, I was on my Sigma Alpha grind set. Making money. You know me. Shilling crypto scams and drop shipping. All I'm saying is you should buy my $100 course, and I'll teach you how to get rich and make everyone love you. Trust me. Okay, Wormwood's not gonna be too happy about this, but I need to go chop some trees. He can suck it up though. You can be a big boy for me. My beloved boy, Wormwood. Ah, forgot. You're annoying. I really hate these little dudes, honestly. Clay is really good at making enemies that make me want to strangle them to death. Oh, not fast enough, buddy. Sorry about that. The guards helped me with a bat wave again, but I made sure to stay far away from my house this time. Day 50 was more Iron Hulk iron farming. It's a lucrative business. I also nearly died today. Oh, I'm out of here. I'm a very intelligent person. I'm not too smart, honestly, because I still kept farming, but I kept my distance. <laughs> Poor bird. Wow, okay. Okay, I'm gonna call that good. Okay, let's hope I don't get struck by lightning, because um, that would probably maybe kill me. Okay. If I happen to get struck by lightning one more time, which is likely, I'd be dead. Please, for the love of everything holy, do not let me get struck by lightning. Luckily, I got back and camped out in a shop before making a run for my house. Okay, I should have done that a lot sooner. Oh my gosh. Day 51, I tried to heal up a bit. Emphasis on tried? I got scammed at the shop again. So I should take a... Take a second to wind down. Okay, let's take a second. We're okay. I'm okay. About to have an anxiety attack. Now it's time for that smelter. Oh lord. We have a smelter just in the side of the house, but... I'm so stressed. You don't understand how much that messed me up. Well, that was easy. What? Okay. No, no fuel or anything, just... Okay. We officially have alloy, everyone. Very nice. Even though I barely use this ever again. Then I hopped off to calm down a bit. Oh, I'm taking a break. Okay. <sighs> After getting back, I tried to figure out this egg thing. I assumed it just works like a tall bird egg, which was basically correct. Although, I think I severely slowed the hatching process by leaving it inside, since I don't think it was really loaded in whenever I was out and about. Day 52, since I had the key to the city, I started working towards getting a weapon shop, because a spear or halberd really wouldn't cut it anymore. Oh my gosh, I've had my cat in my lap, and I've been petting her. 
But the thing is, I'm kind of like allergic to cats. So if I sound a little bit nasally currently, it's because I touched my face and I'm not feeling so hot right now. I got my money up once again through a bit of hatch trimming as usual. I got robbed on day 53, but I also got my weapons chopped down. And what comes next may surprise you. And that is what I wanted, baby. Cutlass Supreme makes a return. The Cutlass Supreme makes a comeback, everyone. Holy moly. Everyone in the comments say hi, Cutlass Supreme. And a coconade, wow. Now you might be asking, Ashton, why are you getting these weapons? Well, to tell you the truth, IDK. However, it, it may have something to do with uh, the boss fight. You know, no, no big deal really. So far, this is the longest I've gone without fighting a boss in one of these videos. Or ever, now that I think about it since Hamlet's bosses are pretty out of the way. I needed to fix that. I'm gonna head to the other shop, I think, and see if I can't sell a bunch of clippings there to get money. Day 54, I headed to the palace city. Except I went through the wrong ruins somehow. Erm, um, that's embarrassing. I'm on fire. After going to the right one, thoroughly ashamed and wiping tears from my eyes with my head down so nobody sees me, I also found the truffle relic, which is another item for the queen, so that's cool. Actually based on another level, okay. On day 55, I had one of my routine near-death experiences. Nothing unusual. Okay. My god. Please, for the love of everything holy. Oh my gosh, I hate bats so much. I hate bats so much. Speaking of, there was another vampire bat wave. I swear these are actually just more common than hound waves. They aren't actually, but I feel like I was getting a really bad dice roll and they were just spawning at the minimum time interval every time. Why does every trip I have to take end up in like a near-death occurrence? Thankfully the rule of guard helped me out here. I gave Pig Mommy her things and got my rewards. The silly string was a bit useless, but I guess I have it now. The executive hammer, on the other hand, could be used to destroy pig structures, as the normal hammer isn't actually able to do that. Infinite use? I could destroy this entire palace. That's tempting, that's tempting. Day 56, it's lush season again. Anything is better than humid season, honestly. I misread feeling gloomy as Baba Booey. I was definitely confused at why Wormwood would say that, but you know, I didn't really question it. It's now my personal headcanon that Wormwood likes to say Baba Booey. I made some big guy purchases today. We're really moving on up in the world. Night armor's only 20 oinks? Really? Guard, help me. Guard, help me. Guard, you're not helping. Okay, well that was profitable. Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sugarcoat that. I'm, I've got the money. Let's just say I've got the money. Day 57. Ruins. Again. Then I had to navigate brambles at home, which took a while. What does this do? Okay, day 58. That egg definitely looks bigger. I started embracing hustle culture and getting more money by picking manure off the streets. Oh yeah, rub it in, buddy. After investing half of it into lean hogs, I got some more poultices and brewed some coffee and prep for the next few days, because I was a wormwood with big plans. Okay, I think tomorrow I'm going to do something many would deem goofy. Silly, even. Something of that caliber, anyway. Day 59 started the long and tedious process of getting all of the Iron Hulk parts together. Because that's what we're doing, and this is my video, and you can sit down and shut up and watch it. In order to actually fight the Iron Hulk, you have to lead all the pieces to one spot so they can put themselves back together. So I'm basically the Golden Freddy toy from Five Nights at Freddy's 4. If you get the brambles, that would be nice. Thank you. I'm just walking my dog, I guess. Anyway, this wouldn't be so bad if they didn't move so slow and shut down after walking five feet like an anemic old lady. 
to be fair, they probably do have an iron deficiency after I went and beat it out of them for like two days straight. But you know what? That's neither here nor there. Speaking of anemia, there were more vampire bats as usual. Amazing segue, I'm just killing it today. Ah, uh, that's inconvenient. Okay, well, day 60, more Hulk leading. Not much to say about it, you're basically seeing the full extent of it. Okay, let's go around the Angry Birds. On day 61, I thought I had all the pieces in place. Funnily enough, I didn't in fact have all the pieces in place. Come on. Hurry up. Oh, there's another part. Dang it. I eventually brought the last part over, but I decided to wait until the next day so I had more daylight to work with. On day 62, finally, the fight was on. Okay, it's for real this time, hopefully. Ugh. The Iron Hulk is pretty wild. It has a large range of attacks and can do a lot of damage. The key for this fight is speed, which is why I brought the coffee. As far as I know, there isn't much of a pattern, but the boss does telegraph its attacks. Cool. Halfway through the fight, the boss will start doing some fancy moves, like a spinning laser and making a circle out of rocks. They hit pretty hard, but once again, they're telegraphed. So just pay attention and run away if it tries to pull any funny business. Ha! Cool. Um, <laughs> gears anyone? Wouldn't it be funny if the blueprint got on fire? <laughs> the Iron Hulk was down, and I was really feeling myself. Looks like Buffwood was on the rise. I'm gonna be honest, that fight was actually pretty fun. For anyone who thinks that the fight looked easy, it was actually pretty easy. But keep in mind this boss can do an absolutely insane amount of damage, and the speed boost from the coffee was really putting in its work. Defeating the boss gave me the blueprint for the living artifact, and a bunch of living metal. What is this? Living artifact. Fantastic. Magic water. Oh, uh, well, I guess that means I have to do some fountain activities. That will be next then, because apparently these expire. Why, why, why do they expire? I had no idea beforehand, but this living metal spoils. Really quickly, actually. So if I didn't use it, I'd have to do that all over again. And when you defeat the Iron Hulk, its parts get scattered all over the island. So there was no way I was going to do that, even if I had the time to. I was going to have to fight the next boss quick, fast, and in a hurry. On day 63, I was on a race against the clock as this living metal was spoiling really fast. I went into the ruins leading to the well, but I immediately got poisoned by a scorpion sting. Great, that's fine, no big deal. And gee, if only I knew a place where I could get an antidote. This was just an absolute waste of a day, honestly. Day 64, after rushing back through the ruins, I made it just in time somehow. But there was another bat wave. I rushed to get the magic water and made the living artifact, but now I had a fight on my hands. Luckily, the Pugilus just straight up killed the bats for me. <laughs> get him! This fight is a bit more complicated, so let me explain. The Pugilus has armored scales that block damage. In order to actually damage the boss, you have to break the scales on one of its segments and keep attacking that one. You could break all of them, but that would kind of just be a waste of time. A good strategy is to stay on the other side of the fountain, as the Pugilisk is forced to go around it. It's, oh. Bad. Bad touch. 
Bad touch. Eventually, it'll start using this attack that freezes you if you get caught in it. It'll start doing this more frequently the lower health it has. Other than that, this fight is pretty easy and straightforward. <laughs> Stop that. Buddy. But not fair. In the slightest. What? Let me just punch you real quick. Uh, just take me out, man. I don't even care. You're so close to death. You're so close to death. Stop. Hey, quit that. Oh, -ho. Pugilisk, anyone? The Pugilisk was down, and that was a cool fight. Hamlet's boss roster was quickly becoming my favorite. Definitely better than the Seal NATO, anyway. I hate that guy. But hey, I got the living artifact, and that's just another win for Buffwood. On day 65, the BFB came to congratulate me on my victory. Listen, I'll talk to you later. I'm busy right now. Oh, you're pooping everywhere. Thank you. I was just trying to recoup and restock, but I had another bat wave. I just want to know how. If the wiki is to be believed, which, you know, sometimes it's wrong, this shouldn't be remotely possible. They also appeared completely without warning, so I really don't know what happened here. Feel free to enlighten me if you have any idea what happened here. I feel like the bats just had a personal vendetta against me this whole time. Returning to the fountain on day 66, I dug up the Pugilus skull that I didn't know the use of. I also had more snake bones than I would ever need. I didn't need them at all, actually. They were used in a crockpot dish that heals you a lot, but I couldn't heal from food, so these are literally useless to me in any way. After having to deal with brambles constantly, I broke down and finally made a bramble husk, which required me to chop off my arms a couple times for living logs. Don't know why I didn't make this sooner. My house is really starting to look like a mess these days. Day 67, it's temperate season again, and this is the first video where I go more than two years. I mean, there are only three seasons, but still. By the way, the egg is outside now, because it definitely should have hashed by now. There isn't too much that goes on for the next couple of days. I started going back to the calendar because I was paranoid about the apocalypse, and then on day 68 I saw that there was no reason for me to come here as the calendar had barely even moved. Oh, what? Come on, that, nah, this wasn't worth it at all. Well, since I'm here... Wormwood, really. Since I was already here, though, I stocked up on some manure. I'm just that kind of guy. Leave that little man alone. Day 69 was more manure hours. Can anyone else relate to this? Compost wraps take a while to get a good amount of. Unfortunately, I'm not good enough to just not get hit. Skill issue, I guess. I also thought now might be a good time to give the mant ruin a spin, since I had some plans soon involving the mant people. This rune was the same as the rest, really. It would be nice if they had a bit more variation. But on day 70, I was still here. Sorry if that's a cloth blueprint. But what do you know? Not a single feather in sight. Just people living in the moment. Okay, great. I love cloth blueprints. I was looking for feathers because I wanted to get a Hogus Porcusator. It's basically a Prestahatitator. The Pharaoh Stone was easier to get than I expected. Well, I'll be, uh, taking that, I guess. Security's not too tight around here, I'm not gonna lie. And I was a bit disappointed that there wasn't, like, a Mant Island or something, but oh well. Now that I had the Pharaoh Stone, I would finally be able to understand what the Mants were saying to me. Day 71, I got out of there. Sheesh. None of the pots gave me the feathers I needed, so I was a bit sad. I'm not gonna lie, don't starve single player's, uh, attack hotkey. It's not the best. Sometimes you hit what you're aiming for, which is better than none of the time, I guess. All of the time would be nice. All right, so where is the Matt Hill? There it is, along with Iron Hulk parts. Wow, that just went everywhere. Yeesh, okay, well, I'm not doing that again. I'm back home, everyone, can you believe it? Egg's doing good, I guess. Oops. That is ugly. You can stay outside. Don't, no, don't make noise at me, please. The miracle of life is a beautiful thing to witness. Robin has now joined the team. Yep, there you... Oh, okay. He's a swell man. 
day 72, I was just grinding and getting some stacks, now accompanied by my new companion. It's basically Chester, but bigger and really ugly. The grown-ups are talking, please stop making noise at me. There we go, that's what I want. Reesh. Yeah, my other cutlass had kind of broken on the pugilisk, and I needed a new one. I have an idea. I have an idea for the, uh, the bird feathers. Some of you may view this as controversial, but that's okay. I don't really care. Look at what a jolly little man he is. Okay, good night, I guess. You freak. There we go. Day 73, I may have resorted to some barbaric methods to get the feathers I needed. Where are the pigeons? Time to bring out the pigeons. And that is how you get your feathers, everybody. Or get hit in the face, okay. Yeah, that's too close to uh, catch it whenever it comes back, okay. I threw my boomerang at a couple of picos too, because I don't like them. But I guess Kana didn't want to let that one slide. That is a whole pharaoh stone you're taking out of my inventory. Leave me alone! Day 74, I took my sweet time curing myself, for whatever reason. And I had everything I needed for a, um, a Hogus Porcusator. We now have the Hogus Porcusator. And very soon... Youch. We'll have a Shadow Manipulator, everybody. It's that easy. It's that easy. By the way, uh, bats, wow. That's uh, was whatever. No, you're just burning the freaking town hall down. Nope, issue, right? Okay. <laughs> On day 75, I'm preparing for something I've been a bit worried about. I wanted to fight the Queen Womant to get her crown, but I really wasn't sure how to go about it. Time to waste money here again. Whoa. Buddy. Calm. Calm. Day 76, I was just doing my routine hedge trimming at the Palace City, and I found a map to a bandit stash on the ground. I guess the guards had actually done their job for once. Good for them. Man, you're... Oh, that's what I wanted, that's what I wanted. Give me that. Speaking of bandits, on day 77, I got robbed again. Then a guard started taking all of my money. Ho ho ho! No! Guard, why are you taking my money? Stop! What is wrong with you? I hate you so much, man. This city is corrupt. Anyway, it was time to head back and visit the mats. I delved into the mat hill, and they didn't seem too happy to see me. Why are you telling me to go away? Yes, you've got bigger issues. Ignore me. Yeah, so the mat mask alone doesn't seem to help here. They still very much disliked me. Nice place y'all got here. I'm starting to feel silly for not coming to this place sooner, because it was just filled with honey. I could have been making my own poultices this whole time. Oh, I got a swashy hat? What the? I didn't even notice that. Wormwood? More like swagwood. Okay. Mm, yeah, that's... that's honey. I appreciate your, uh, ability to make interior lighting, guys. It's really impressive. Day 78 was spent in the mat caves again. Ah, huh, those are, uh, dangerous looking. That big cave looking thing was the entrance to the deepest parts of the mant cave, where the queen resides. I'm glad I got the pharaoh stone, now I can tell when they're telling me to screw off. After exploring the entire mant hill, I was feeling a bit cocky, and ascended into the depths of the mant cave. Are you ready, Robin? Be honest with me, are you ready? Oh. I thought that would lead directly towards the queen. But apparently there are even more rooms to run through, filled with warrior mats, so that's cool. It's her, everybody. I wonder if I can do this without healing. Oh well, I... <laughs> we're doing this. The fight was officially on. As you can see, she spawns mant warriors to help her fight, which is annoying. But luckily, if you kill one and freeze the other, it can't attack you and she can't make any more. Hence, you know, the ice staff that I brought. Also, aside from stunning the player and causing earthquakes, the queen actually can't damage the player directly. Um... 
Which is not very proactive, I have to say. Oh, he's stuck. <laughs> nice. Well, not exactly the most challenging thing I've done. What is this? Bundling wrap. It's mine now. That was incredibly easy, especially compared to the last two bosses. I don't even know what I was worried about. But anyway, we have the Queen's Crown. We're out of here. We're winners today. I did nothing to you. Don't aggro at me. Actually, I did kill your Queen. But that's not my problem, really. Day 79, it was Bandit Stash time. It wouldn't be a 100 days video from me without a bit of treasure digging. Uh, how do I... Okay. Tuna? And money? I like the money. I don't really care too much about the tuna, if I'm being honest. Here, have a... Ice staff, I don't know. Let's see. More money, okay. We're doing pretty hot. We're doing pretty hot. Oh, Wormwood, you look so cool. Oh, that makes them unhappy with me, though, so I should stop doing that. I wanted to make this bad boy. Ooh. And I think that protects me from the humidity, maybe? Shut it. Okay, this is long overdue, but give just give me a second. I need a house expansion. Oh, uh, I, <laughs> I can't go in my room. Ah, uh, well, you know, whatever. Um, that, that's stupid. Yeah, I completely wasted that. How mad would the citizens be if I started destroying their houses, do you think? Very unhappy. Interesting. Okay, well, that's good to know. Destroying this house was a terrible decision that ended up snowballing into something much worse. Very bad. Horrible. Even. Okay, well yeah, there the problem arises there. Guys, it's really not that big of a deal. Can we settle this like adults? Robe and do something. Other than style on them, maybe? Can you hold off on that just for one second? Just scream and go to sleep then, okay. Why are you sleeping on the ground? Why are you sleeping at all? You're a guard. Day 80. I tried dealing with the guards, but it was incredibly difficult with the fog. Wait, wait fog? Oh yeah, humid season. Great. Love it. The weevil armor could be worn in the fog, but I discovered it didn't give as much defense as a football helmet. Guards are already annoying, but trying to deal with the herd is basically impossible. I don't know why I was even trying. I eventually decided to just hide in my house and try to wait out the fog. And I definitely waited. Day 81. I waited again, and the fog still is here. Day 82. You're gonna laugh. I was still waiting. I also ran out of monster meat to eat. I've been able to eat it since Wormwood can't lose health from food either, which is nice. But I'd have to get food eventually, and at this rate, I had no idea how long the fog would stick around. Also, I had gotten really impatient, which is never good. I went to go get my backpack because I remembered it had compost wrap, and I thought I could grab it and heal myself, but everything went wrong. For starters, a bat wave as soon as I left my house. I'll just let this play out for itself. Really. I honestly couldn't believe that had just happened. Sorry everybody, I really wish I could have survived 100 consecutive days, but it is what it is. Rather than start the 100 days over, I decided to start anew and try something interesting. Basically a boss rush, so buckle up everyone. I'm gonna start on day 82, because I was basically just waiting inside for the entirety of 82 anyway. It is so on. If you think I'm letting it end like that, you are sorely mistaken. Blood will be shed. I am fuming. Seething. Enraged even. I was a man scorned by the world. This was personal now. 
I immediately murdered a pig guard in revenge. I'm an enemy of the state. I didn't feel any better, but I got an axe. I also took a bit of damage, but please just just ignore that. Uh, that please. What? Idiot. Day 83, I found the pig ruin. Hello pigs, I hate you all. I'm going to kill you all, just so you know. Just a heads up, no hard feelings. I found the pig city and just put my science machine in the middle of the street. Buying a house would be just a waste of money for what I was doing. Then I also found the fountain ruin. Very nice, very nice. Ho <laughs> ho That's okay, that's okay. Day 84, I wanted some iron, cause I was gonna be trimming some hedges. If you know what I mean. What a horrible biome. Wow. Absolutely shameful. What is this? Thank goodness we just have this stuff, because, oh, never mind. Sorry, didn't mean to offend. I beat the Iron Hulk parts in a fit of rage. Honestly, I just hope they can feel pain. Why are you awake? Go to sleep. Oh, you're fake awake, aren't you? Yeah, you're fake awake. Continue passing gas or whatever you're doing. I don't care. Pipe down, Sunny. Gang war. We'd love to see it. What we got in here? Never mind. Goodbye. Day 85. It was time to stock up on as much healing as possible. You know the routine. The only constant in life is clipping these stupid hedges. I think I have depression. Baba baba. Shaga daga 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 daga. Flaga gaga. Anyway, I got more gold and just harassed a bird because I felt like it. Yeah, just stand there. Don't mind me. Day 86, I had an alchemy engine down and got visited by some old friends. If you're gonna be throwing a fit about it, I'll just go inside. Calm. But now it's time for the moment everyone has been waiting for. It's ruin time. I know you've missed it, so have I. It's the daylight that activates it, okay. I for gore. Ow. That wasn't fair at all, but thank you. On day 87, amazingly, it was Ruin's time still. This is an amazing development. Would it kill you not to walk in my direction? Oh, my gosh. Awesome. Is that a morning star? Oh my... Okay. Honestly, an insanely lucky find. I didn't even know that set piece existed. I switched it up and went to the pick ruins to see if finding its exit would be any easier. On day 88, I was still rolling down in the deep. That's the truffle. I don't care about the truffle. Who even cares about the truffle? I returned it once and I have to return it again. I paid my dues. Can we stop throwing a hissy fit? That was funny. That was funny. Come on, that was funny. But finally, after way too long, it was no longer ruins time. I started littering on the streets of the palace city, because I'm ungovernable. I don't abide by the system, not after what they did to me. I've escaped the Matrix. Oh. These guys. Whoa! Guys, please leave me alone. After escaping the silly mandrake dudes, I started making my big money plays. Your Highness, I ought to give you a knuckle sandwich. I hate you. I'm filled with hate. I'm filled with contempt. You already know I got that shadow gear from the shop. Just like when I pop out of Hot Topic. These guys are not gonna know what hit them. Me. Knuckle sandwich. Knuckle sandwich. Day 90, I was back home. Eh, well, not home, really. Nothing really feels like home after leaving that last world behind. But you know what they say, home is where the heart is. And I've got Buff Wood to hold me in his arms. You hate me so much, I can tell. Anyway, um, it's Ruins time again. Really, guys? <laughs> After only nine days, we're at the Fountain of Youth. I ain't doing a bad job, honestly. I don't really know what was wrong with me, but I immediately activated the fountain. I was bloodthirsty. I was seeing red. Day 91, the battle raged on. With the Shadow Sword, this shouldn't be an issue. Although I don't have coffee this time. You've already seen me do this before, so I'll just keep this short. Okay, that is possible to avoid without any speed modifiers. It's just a bit more difficult. Yep. Yeah. 
my guy. Yeah, that's right. Pugilisk day 10, baby. Get out of here. Thanks for the water jump. The Pugilisk didn't stand a chance against Buffwood. Now it's on to the next order of business. Moving Iron Hulk parts for the rest of the day. Fantastic. Luckily, I got a pick slash axe from one of the secret rooms in the ruin, which helped a lot. On day 92, the other half of the Hulk pieces were nowhere to be found. Okay, thanks for that. After exploring literally all day, I finally found them. This is the distance I need to travel with these. Uh, in... in humid season? Interesting. Uh, that's gonna be impossible. Putting that aside to deal with later, on day 93, it was the Queen's turn for judgment. I just sprinted through the Mant Hill, honestly. I didn't really have the time to waste. I was able to sprint right past the warrior mats by eating stale coffee beans, which is kind of gross. Has anyone here ever eaten an espresso bean before? They aren't that bad, they're just really gritty. It's kind of like eating dirt. Anyway, um, it's a good day for a swell battle. That was three. That was three. I seem to have an affinity for making this game behave in ways it's not supposed to. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or just getting really unlucky. Please let me know. The Oh, that's bad. 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 Stop it. Yeah? Not so funny now. Douchebag. Deutschbag. Oh, I'll be seeing y'all. Listen, guys. Peace and love. Peace and love. That fight was definitely closer than I thought it would be. Due to the extra warrior and the Queen Womance's impressive lung capacity. But Buffwood was now up 2 to 0. On day 94, it was humid season. Now watch me get struck by lightning and die. Okay! I was joking. This is a very familiar scenario. Quick, guards, protect me. I've got things to do. Like, prevent death, ideally. Fantabulous. You guys are just crushing it today. I spent the day moving the Hulk pieces again. Get ready, because there ain't nothing much else to say for the next few days. I'll give it to you straight. This was boring. I was moving these for over an hour. If only it wasn't constantly foggy or raining, but whatever. There's no skin off my nose. Actually, it's a whole lot more. It's like my whole nose off my nose. On day 95, I was farming health and coffee beans. I definitely wasn't going to fight the Hulk without more movement speed. Then I did some head trimming for the last time. I wouldn't miss it. Day 96, I spent moving the leg, which isn't too bad really. The legs and head move pretty fast. There was a bit of a spider monkey issue though. I guess they didn't get their time to shine yet, and they're trying to force themselves into the spotlight. I can't be too mad about that, honestly. Alright, two more to go. Day 97, I started moving the arm, which is really slow. Really, buddy. That is some range. There goes all of my health. Yeah, I don't like this one. You vaporized him. He doesn't even exist anymore. Wow. I don't know if I don't play enough single player Don't Starve, or this DLC is just really buggy. That is the worst thing you could possibly do to me. Why would you do that? Looks like we're moving the head today instead. Day 98, I got all the beans I needed and made some coffee. I hate you so much. Then it was back to, you know, trying to move the arm. Oh my gosh, please. Yeah, whatever, that's good of me, actually. Good job. I didn't know that would happen, but this was actually great. When a Hulk piece gets struck by lightning, it stays active for a really long time, which saved me a lot of time and durability. Day 99, I was moving the head again because it got struck by lightning randomly, and I wasn't going to miss this opportunity. I got the head in place, and now it was just the arm left. And now, it's day 100. I'm sorry everyone, but I was still moving the Hulk parts. 
please forgive me. I was already this close, so I decided to go ahead and keep going, because I wasn't just gonna go, ah, well, you know what, I guess I can't fight it, after, you know, I spent like over an hour moving these things for, you know, all of humid season. Sue me. Sheesh. Also, I did spend like three days straight sitting in my house on the last world, so this is basically just compensation for that. But yes, this is day 100, I guess. I don't know. Maybe leave a mean comment for me. But now we're officially off the clock. Or working overtime. I guess it depends on how you want to look at it. Uh, day 101. I spent the entire day moving the arm, yada yada. You get the point, okay? Day 102, if we're even keeping track anymore. I was tired, hungry, and beaten. But it was time for the fight. This is what well over an hour of moving parts led up to. Honestly, the fight was going pretty alright. I was dodging well and just chewing through his health. Unfortunately, I took a hit from the laser. This may be a cope, but I'm still more used to DST's combat. No worries. I just went and grabbed some healing from my backpack. Except... Oh well, it is what it is. This was really hard. <laughs> yeah, that kind of sucks. But, you know, I have never played this before and it is hard, so. And I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for that Thunderbird. But that still makes Buffwood 2 to 1. Oh well, they can't all be winners, everyone. I'm sorry that I'm terrible at video games and I wasn't able to complete this challenge to the best of my ability. But I still wanted to make this video anyway as it was a good attempt, as well as my first playthrough of the DLC. With that being said, I'm doing this again. Yeah, you think I'm giving up here? No sir slash madam. I am a raging perfectionist, and I won't have this failure be a stain on my good name. There were still plenty of things I didn't get to do or show off. What would I be if I just left it here? It may be 100 days or it may be another format, who knows. Just maybe not Wormwood, you know? No offense, I love the guy, but he just makes this way harder than it needs to be. I did really enjoy this DLC, for the most part, and it's quickly becoming a favorite. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you want to see more or have any suggestions, feel free to leave a comment. Thanks for watching everybody. See ya. Oh the misery.